In this audition tutorial, we're going to create a Vox Pop segment where we combine multiple voices answering the same question um, to give us sort of a, a selection of opinions. This is something you've probably heard on the news or in broadcast news. It's pretty popular. For this assignment, you don't need to talk to strangers necessarily, but you do need to have a variety of voices. And before you get started in audition, you should go ahead and complete those interviews. You can record them using any kind of recording device, um, including your computer or your smartphone which is what I did. Then we'll get started the way we have for previous tutorials by going to File, New, and Multi-Track Session. I'm going to call this um, Vox Pop to match the tutorial. I'm going to make sure it's saved in the right spot and make sure the settings are the same as we've used previously. Now we have our multi-track session and I'm going to go ahead and condense these a little bit because we're going to actually use quite a few tracks for this one, and we can always drag out an individual track if we need more space later. I have not yet recorded the part where I asked the question. It's in some of the recordings, but it's not very high quality because I was using my phone to record them and not myself at that time. So you should record yourself asking the question um, the same way that you recorded your other interviews, um, or you can do it using your computer. So I'm going to record that in the first track here real quick by clicking the arm for record button and then hitting the record button down here at the bottom of the frame. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? So now that I have that recorded, I'm going to leave that in track one, and I'm going to go ahead and add my other interviews that I've previously recorded. I can add them all at once. You can also drag them in. I recorded four. You're required to have three, but it's a good idea to have an extra just in case one of them doesn't work out. And we can go ahead and listen to one of them just as an example. So that's an example of one of my recordings. I've got four of them to choose from, and I'm going to go back to my uh, multi-track session here so that I can start adding those clips. I'm going to put each one on its own track for now. We'll eventually trim these down and stagger them. Um, so that'll be the next step, and then we'll add sound effects at the end. I'm going to mute all the other tracks so that we can focus on just one at a time. And this is where your workflow may be similar, but you're going to have different content, so it's going to differ significantly from this. Okay, we're recording. So, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Well, I think I will go to Peter. I'm going to start dragging these in, sort of getting at least a rough idea of where the actual content is that I want. You may find that your volume is too low, and if that's the case, you can boost it using the envelope line here. You might also want to check the levels bar as well. You want to make sure that's not getting into the red. We're going to trim out the part where I ask another question because we don't want that to be in the recording. We want it to sound like a lot of continuous responses. You'll have to decide. Some of your answers might be a little longer, some of them might be a little bit shorter. So you'll have to decide um, about how long they can each be. They should probably be at least a few seconds a piece. Um, this would be on the shortest side. Oh, I think I will go to That's about the shortest response you could have, um, and some of them might be a little bit longer. It's good to have some variety as you're editing. You 
go ahead and call that one good for now. We'll mute that one, go on to the next one. So we're going to trim that clip again in the same way, using the scrubber to help define where those edges are. And if we want to be able to see this up close, we can use the zoom tools. I'd love to see the castles and mountains and Swiss Alps. It's okay if you have a little bit of extra space at the end of your clips because you're going to need that to have it sound like natural pacing, but you want to make sure you don't have too much extra. This is one where we're going to have the two-part answer, so we want to cut out part in the middle so that we don't have um, me asking the question in the middle of it. I would go to Ukraine. So we're going to make a clip there using the razor tool. This is where in Audition you're using the same tools over and over again. It's not quite as complicated as Photoshop or Illustrator, but it still can be time consuming as you make a lot of small adjustments. exactly the right spot and this is where if you have trouble getting the right spot you can zoom in a little bit more closely. Delete that one. My wife is from there and I'm interested in Ukrainian culture. I'm going to move those two pieces together so that they sound seamless and I'm going to double check that that's the case later. All right I now have staggered on here my introduction and three short clips. I'm just going to alternate these into um, an order that I think is nice. I'm going to alternate between the male and female voices just since I have um, a few different options for those interviews. I'm also going to trim the very beginning of my introduction as well. Fortunately my the people who responded to my question didn't have too many like ums or long pauses, but you'd want to edit those out along with any sort of follow-up questions or extra space that you don't want. You also want to make sure the levels are relatively the same. If you record it in different locations, they might some might be louder or quieter, and you can use that envelope line to change the volume so that you can tell in the levels bar down here that they're all about the same volume. Next I'm going to add the sound effects. So I'm going to import those and these are um, some chimes that you can download from the course website if you have not already done that. These are from a Creative Commons website and they are licensed under Creative Commons Zero which is equivalent to public domain. You can use them for any purpose without attribution. So we've got chime 1 and chime 2. I'm going to go back to my main session here. And I'm just going to put these on the same track. We're going to put chime 1 toward the beginning. And we're going to put chime 2 toward the end. Chime 2 is pretty long, so we're going to need to edit that one a little bit. And we want to make sure that these sound right with our interviews. Whoops, I still have a bunch of these tracks on mute. If you're not hearing your content, that's probably what's happening. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? I'd love to see the castles and mountains in Swiss Alps. Oh, I think I will go to New Zealand. I would go to Ukraine. My wife is from there, and I'm interested in Ukraine. That sounds pretty good, right, until we get to the last part. So let's go ahead and focus on that particular track a little bit. I'm just going to drag it down so we can focus here. I'm first going to fade this in, and I don't actually want this much sound. We just kind of want it to be sort of an ending tone. You can use these boxes here to sort of have a fade in and fade out effect. 
And again, you can always zoom in so you can see your track more clearly. Let's start here and see how it sounds. I might need to boost the levels on, on this one a little bit. I'm going to move that over a little bit and also have a slightly more gradual fade in. And this is where you'll have to just play around with it a little bit to get the spacing exactly the way you want and make sure that all of your elements um, are approximately the same volume so that nothing's too loud or too quiet. Make sure we can hear everything properly, make sure it's seamless, and when you're happy with the way it is in your editor, you can go ahead and export your file by going to File, Export, Multitrack Mixdown, Entire Session. Make sure the settings are right and that you're saving it in a place where you're going to be able to find that file, and then you'll be able to upload this to complete your assignment.